anytime I make it too difficult on the flag, there's this cycle where, and I don't even know how long the cycle takes. Sometimes it's a couple weeks, sometimes it's a couple years, but you always arrive back at the same thing and you arrive back to that, that spot where you go, why did I make it so difficult? It's a flag on a string that goes left and right. I remember training some of the, my favorite horses on the flag so much that I, it's crazy. Like they worked the flag five, six days a week. And they could do that because I kept it really, really simple. And it doesn't mean you have to do the same thing every day. It doesn't mean you just have to be like, okay, you know, every day is the same, but you just got to keep it simple. You know, today we'll work the flag a little bit far away. We might work it close. We might, you know, work in a little bit different positions, but, but the point of it is it's got to be simple so they understand. I think a big thing about the flag too, the approach to the flag will tell you a lot about what your horse is thinking. So like this mare here, you know, I'm walking up here. Okay, so, you know, she's, she's right off the get-go. She's pretty relaxed and it seems like a pretty small thing and a pretty unimportant thing. But if you work the flag a lot, you really got to understand that that means a lot right there because it's very easy to get a horse that doesn't want to go up to the flag. And that means that maybe you've worked that flag a little bit too aggressive or too left and right and they get anxious, right? I call, I call it the barrel, the barrel horse syndrome. Another thing you can do, and I've been doing it lately, and it's really weird feeling, but, you know, um, do stuff like this. Take your, take your feet out of those stirrups. And the reason I do this is because um, um, you got to be careful jumping horses into the ground. And I, what I mean by that is we can all, you can, you can make a horse stop really, really hard by jumping them in the ground if you know how to make that horse like, like get back, you know. You, you can stop and then you can open your feet or push your feet in. You can do whatever. You could, you could say hallelujah, whatever. You can teach a horse. We're all good enough horse trainers. We can teach a horse to run backwards on a cue. But the problem is it's a cue. And, and, and I really think, I know for me, that can be a strong suit and it can also be a negative thing because you know, riding across here and, and pushing out, especially on the flag, I mean, we can push out and I can go like this and I can make that horse get back. And don't get me wrong, I can get this horse to stop really, really hard. But I'm doing that. And then it becomes a series of rollbacks. And we want a lot of turns, but we don't want a series of rollbacks because this isn't a reigning maneuver. They, they do need to work a cow. So, to me, the reason why I've been doing this lately 